Just as the show started uh, yesterday, the news broke that Tesla would build all of its cars with the hardware to at some point become fully self-driving cars. Now we've had some time to let that news really sink in. We thought it was worth discussing a little further. The Model S and the Model X vehicles with this new hardware are already in production and you can order one now. Once the Model 3 goes into production, it will also contain this hardware. And as we said yesterday, the fully autonomous software packages will cost an extra $8,000. Now that figure came from Engadget. Ars Technica says full self-driving capability is a $3,000 option at the time of purchase and a $4,000 option after the fact. Um, check the website uh, on, at tesla.com. It's a really complicated price structure. I could not figure it out. There's a lot of different options. Now, one thing we didn't note last night, but that probably doesn't come as much of a surprise, is that the new robot Teslas will not feature those unsightly cameras sprouting out of the top. <laughs> Uh, of the car like Google and Uber self-driving cars, but they'll be built right into the sleek Tesla design. They also released a promotional video set to the tune of the Rolling Stones Paint It Black for some reason. And I'll mm. remind those that uh, haven't thought about the Rolling Stones as much as I have in your life. Uh, Paint It Black is about a funeral. Oh, you don't want that when you're Tesla and, and it, using it to tout self-driving capabilities. That's a really interesting <laughs> Interesting facet of that announcement. Um, I okay, so there's that, and I got to get over that. Um, I I couldn't imagine one of these Tesla vehicles with one of those little doohickeys on the top of the vehicle. So obviously Tesla's going to figure it out and and build it into the vehicle, and that makes sense based on kind of the cool factor that is Tesla. Um, and I I think what I appreciate about this is Tesla's basically future proofing um, its cars for the time when the technology is ready. So. I mean, from early, early on, they're going to have their vehicles, you know, capable uh, potentially with the hardware to jump right into this. Obviously, the big hurdle is regulation and, uh, you know, the regulation uh, challenges not only uh, countrywide, at least in the U.S., but state by state and all that kind of stuff that's going to kind of slow things down. So who knows when this actually happens, but that's so cool that... Basically, I mean, anyone who buys a new Tesla is going to have the ability to have fully autonomous vehicle at some point. Yeah, they will be ready. But uh, the other news with this is do not expect to use your uh, fully autonomous Tesla if you want to drive for Uber or Lyft or any uh -huh. of those services. They will not let you. Uh, they say so. I mean, that's partly maybe because of safety, but also because they're probably going to have their own. They've talked about having yep. their own sort of lend out your Tesla kind of thing, um, which I, I'm still not really sure how that works. I mean, I'm guessing it would be like a Model 3, you know, the, um, that they would use for that because I can't imagine like Leo lending out his Tesla to someone to drive. But yeah, so don't, you can't use your Tesla and be an Uber driver. Yeah, this was part of um, part of a blog post that Elon had, Master Plan Part 2, uh, back in July on the Tesla blog. We may or may not have talked about it on the show. I honestly can't remember. If it's Tesla, I'm guessing we talked about it. Yeah, but you know, part of what he was saying is, you know, these cars, they can be pricey. You can offset the, the cost based on the fact that you're only using your car five to 10% of the day, let's say. So that's 90% of the time your car is just sitting there parked. If your car is fully autonomous, you know, capable of that, then you could then go on to your phone, press a button in the Tesla app and put your car to work while you're at work or you're on vacation and offset the cost of your car by allowing other people to pick up rides and everything. They also um, said that, you know, in cities, major cities that don't have a critical mass of Tesla cars doing this, Tesla vehicles doing this, Tesla would have its own ride share fleet. Uh, so it makes no, it's no surprise, you know, it, it, given that, that you can't use these uh, with Uber and Lyft. It's prohibited in the terms of service, as it were. Mm -hmm. uh, Musk also said that a driverless Tesla would drive from LA to New York City by 2017. Wow. I, I mean, he must have meant by the end of 2017, because we're, yeah. we're, we're reaching 2017, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's how I interpreted that, is by somewhere, somewhere within 2017, this is going to happen. That's crazy. I mean, the video more or less shows from from the garage, pulling out on its own, letting someone in, and going to the Tesla lot somewhere across town. It shows the entire, uh, you know, the entire travel uh, mm -hmm. from point A to point B. Super impressive stuff. It's the future. Um, and by the way, Elon had said on Twitter that this announcement was the Model Three Part Two 
announcement. The part one was, of course, the initial announcement of the vehicle. And somebody asked if there would be a part three. And Elon said, definitely. So there's more to come. Mm. Who knows what that'll be.